Good morning Year 6 and welcome to our next home learning lesson. Today's learning objective is to know what the angle of pentagons, hexagons and octagons add to and use these facts and mathematical reasoning to calculate missing angles. Here we have a regular pentagon. It has five straight sides, five vertices, five lines of symmetry, five interior angles, five obtuse angles, and zero pairs of parallel lines. We can break this regular pentagon into three triangles and we can use this knowledge to find out the total of the angles of a pentagon. Now the total of the angles for a triangle is 180 degrees. We can fit three triangles into the pentagon so that means the total angles for a pentagon is 3 times 180. So the sum of all the angles in a pentagon is 540 degrees. Here's a regular hexagon. It has six straight sides, six vertices, six lines of symmetry, six interior angles, six obtuse angles, and three pairs of parallel lines. This regular hexagon can be divided into four triangles. So, using this knowledge, we can now calculate the sum of the angles for a hexagon. That would be 180 times by 4. Pause the video now and give yourself time to try and work that out. That's right, it's 720. So the total sum of the interior angles of a hexagon is 720 degrees. Next we have a regular octagon. It has eight straight sides, eight vertices, eight lines of symmetry, eight interior angles, eight obtuse angles, and four pairs of parallel lines. As you can see, this regular octagon can be divided into six triangles. Using this knowledge, we can again work out the sum of the interior angles, which would be 180 multiplied by six. Pause the video again and give yourself time to answer this question. That's right, it's 1080. That means the total sum of the interior angles is 1080 degrees. Let's look at the angles in a regular polygon. A polygon can be partitioned into triangles in order to calculate the total of the interior angles inside the shape. Remember, the sum of the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. Let's use these facts to select the statement which would help you find the interior angles of this quadrilateral. So, is it this quadrilateral can be partitioned into four triangles? This quadrilateral can be partitioned into three triangles? Or is it this quadrilateral can be partitioned into two triangles? That's right, it can be partitioned into two triangles. 
we now know that we can multiply 180 by 2, which equals 360. So we now know the interior angles for this quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Let's try it with this next shape. What is the name of this polygon? That's right, it's a hexagon. How many triangles can this polygon be partitioned into? That's right, it's four. And we now know that we can calculate the interior angles by multiplying 180 degrees by four, giving us 720 degrees. Using what you've learned today, I'd like you to complete this main task. Complete the worksheet on the Year 6 Home Learning page on the school website. Well done everyone, that's the end of another home learning lesson. See you tomorrow for the next lesson.